Welcome back, Ann Fishers. I'm Bill Jadropoulos, the host of the Ann Fish Fishing Vlog Series. Uh, this vlog is specifically for fall fishing. We are in uh, early fall and the fall feed has begun. And uh, I like to do videos that are very informative like this to help you all catch a lot more fish. So if you do like this video, uh, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed uh, to my channel, go ahead and do so as well. There are a lot more informative videos like this uh, that will help you get onto more fish. So to jump straight into this one, again, fall feed is on. It's my most favorite time of year to fish. Uh, fish put on the feed bags and start feeding aggressively uh, on a daily basis. Uh, but one thing that gets me onto more fish, and I share this with so many people, and I've, I do a video on this uh, pretty much every year around fall time, is bait size. Small fry that were born uh, and hatched uh, early spring uh, have grown and most of them that any of the ones that have survived were lucky enough to survive not being eaten have reached their full size. So we would normally in the springtime uh, and early summer start with baits around uh, that size you know that would kind of match what we're seeing two three inch uh, small fry around that time and then we'd start with uh, some some small regular size uh, spinner baits and possibly even some inline spinners um, in that size that three to four inch size but as we get into fall again fish have grown and when they put the feed bag on they're looking for something big and hearty and they're looking for a lot of it to be able to pack on the weight that they're going to need to get through those winter months underneath the ice so as an example I'm going to move a few of these out of the way so I don't get them all tangled but I'm just going to go through a couple of examples here on what I use normally in the early season and what I gravitate to in the later season, just to give you a size perspective. So I've got my uh, my Amphish ruler shirt here, my fish measuring shirt. Um, if I just take this inline spinner from tip to the bottom, we're looking at close to about uh, five, six inches or so. Now, this is something, again, I would use in the earlier months, earlier season and mid season. As it gets into the later season, I will only downsize the baits uh, in that three, four inch range if it's a tight, uh, sorry, a tough bite during the fall and it's colder water, colder water temps, and I need to downsize because the fish are finicky. It actually does take them a lot longer to digest in the winter months as well and in the late fall when it's cooler water. So sometimes they might be into that smaller bite. But now that we're in the early fall, I avoid baits this size unless I have to use them and I will gravitate to let me get this one unstuck something in this size so this is a double bladed bucktail a meps bucktail and this surpasses the seven inch range um, so as you can see them side by side just bait overall bait profile thickness size length uh, you can clearly tell that this one's got uh, a few sizes up on the other bait here so now I'll move these out of the way and I'll gravitate back to, as an example, our spinner bait. Average size spinner bait, regular size spinner bait that we all use in the earlier months and the mid months. Um, but I gravitate to something like this one. Move this one up. I would gravitate to something like this. Now, as you can clearly see, this is a huge spinner bait, a lot bigger than this little guy here. Doesn't mean, you know, just because it's a big bait, this is only for musky or huge 20, 30 pound pike. Uh, you'll catch bass on this. If they're into that bigger feed and seeing larger bait fish this time of year, they will hit stuff like this. Um, I've even got a larger one here. Again, just to give you the differences, this is a massive, massive spinner bait compared to this little one here. Put them side by side so you can get an idea. I've got a big trailer under this as well. Now this typically is a big pike musky bait, but I've caught uh, some good smallmouth on this. I've also caught good largemouth on this. And it's just increasing the size of bait that they're seeing. So in the earlier months, again, this works because bait fish are kind of small. They get to that mid-level. Anything that survived now is probably closer to that five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine inch range, depending on the lake and the water and the bait fish that you have in there. Um, my last example here is going back to just a crankbait. So there's just a little crankbait. Uh, we're looking at uh, front to back, 
probably under uh, three inches there, around that three inch range. But I gravitate to a bait this size. A lot larger, as you can see, this one from the front, basically from the lip, is uh, over that six inch range once you get past that hook. But as you can clearly see, there's a huge difference. I mean, this bait here is probably almost the size of just the tail end back here. Uh, but by doing this, again, earlier months, this is what will be swimming around. And as the fish gravitate to following their bait in the fall months to pack on the weight, they will be looking for bigger meals because it sustains them and allows them to put the weight on a lot faster. Um, but this is probably what they're seeing now when it comes to perch, bluegill, sunfish. Anything that was hatched in the earlier months and that made it through spring, late spring, summer, uh, early summer, late summer, and now fall is probably doubled or tripled in size. Uh, and they're at their largest around fall. So this is what I always talk about. Bait fish are always going to be their largest around late season. They just need all that uh, springtime and summertime to actually grow. And if they survive, which is the biggest task they have. But uh, I want to do this video. Like I said, it's fall. It's my most favorite time of year to fish. And um, I share this because I've been asked. I've had a lot of successful days come the last few weeks. And people are asking me what I was using. And, you know, an example, I would start with spinner baits like this um, come late summer. And all of a sudden, they just weren't into anything like that. I'd gravitate to something like this or the very large size. And I started to nail, you know, example up here, more northern pike. They weren't hitting that small size. They were going after big baits. I actually caught a, a good three and a half, four pound smallmouth on this large spinner bait, and it just inhaled the back end of it. Um, but do that, guys. Increase, and I mean increase drastically. As you can see, again, the size difference between that crankbait and this crankbait is substantial. Overall length is bigger. Overall thickness of the body, the body profile is bigger as well. Same with you see on these spinner baits, right? Not as fluffy, not as big profile, a lot larger profile. And then this larger, larger size here that's got even a massive profile and it's got the, the soft plastic tail on the end as well. Um, but depending on where you live, guys, um, follow what, uh, you know, try and match your bait fish. So example of silver and black is not uh, a bait fish that's in your waters, match it. Uh, if you've got perch, bluegill, sunfish, match that but go to a much larger size uh, i'm not saying you know go from this size just one up i'm basically saying going from this size and go three four five bait sizes up and give that a try you you will more than likely start having a lot more luck uh, because they're into that big feed they're into uh, packing on as much weight as they can uh, before they go into that long winter uh, uh, below the ice so they're gonna go for those big meals. Once it gets a lot cooler, uh, late fall, so say late October, early November, mid-November, and then late November, you will possibly wanna gravitate back to something like this when the water's a lot colder and it's a finicky bite. But for the most part, I'm gravitating to a lot of these larger sizes and I have been the last few weeks um, and I smashed a, a massive uh, musky on a big topwater bait as well. And that's again, just putting the feed bag on. They're on the cruise, they're looking for food and they're looking for a lot of it. So thanks for tuning in guys. Like I said, I wanted to do this video. I love to do it every fall, something on the basis of increase your baits, but not, not just increase them, increase them drastically. We're talking levels above what you would normally use to something like that. And, I'll, and um, I'm pretty sure you're gonna start getting into a lot more fish when you see that. If you do have any questions, on this video or about this video, feel free to drop me a comment. Um, and again, if you haven't subscribed, get in there and do so. There are a lot of informative videos like this that not everyone on YouTube is shooting. I like to do a lot of the outside of the box uh, videos because my goal is to help everyone catch a lot more fish. That's always been my AmFish mission is to help people catch a lot more fish and then hear their stories because I love telling my fishing stories to everyone and I also love hearing everyone else's fishing stories. So thanks for tuning in guys. See you next time.